welcome back to Wikipedia world today we will continue our discussion about refraction and uh, today's discussion will be focused on the conditions for no deviation which means that during refraction there are certain scenarios in which the light does not bend away or towards the normal so what are those conditions then we will see certain relation we will understand the relationship between the velocity wavelength frequency and also the change in direction as a result of these factors we will close the lecture by understanding the factors which affect the refractive index of the medium so let us start with today's lecture let's start today's lecture by discussing about the condition for no change in the direction of light during refraction so no direction change during refraction the conditions the first is that the angle of incidence incidence is equal to zero degree quite obvious isn't it let's see suppose this is a and the partition between two mediums and the ray of light is falling perpendicular that is normal to it then obviously there will be no change in the direction of the light since the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction both will be zero degree right so the first condition we understood now the second condition is also pretty obvious let's say that the refractive index index is same for both medium then if the refractive index is same for both medium then clearly the ray of light will just pass through it will the ray of light will act as if there was no change in medium because the refractive index is same right so these are the two conditions here the angle of incidence is 0 degree and here the mu1 is equal to mu2 if this is mu1 and this is 2 then mu1 and mu2 are same so these are the conditions for no change in direction now let us see the relation between change of speed direction and wavelength of light due to refraction okay relation between speed let me write it by v direction wavelength we'll also see the relation of frequency so let's start by discussing what is frequency depend on let's discuss this first the frequency of a wave is independent of the medium independent of medium why so the frequency is decided by the frequency of the source so the frequency will remain same in any medium now we have seen that the velocity is more velocity is more in rarer medium what do we mean by rare medium the refractive index less and vice versa the velocity is less when the mu is more this can be uh, said in words as the speed of light on traveling from a rarer to a denser medium decreases okay now you might be knowing the relation between the frequency wavelength and velocity of a wave if you don't know this is the relation let me write it down the velocity of any wave is equal to the frequency of the wave multiplied by the wavelength 
so the velocity becomes higher when either frequency increases or when the wavelength increases now in the case at hand we have already ascertained that the frequency will remain constant so this does not change does not change now we say we just found out using this that velocity is less in tensor medium okay velocity is less in tensor medium so how can the velocity reduce when we already know for fact that the frequency cannot change it's only possible by reduction in the wavelength so what we can derive from these scenario is that the wavelength of light reduces in denser medium and a dense in denser medium and what do we know about denser medium a denser medium is one which has higher mu vice versa the wavelength is more in rarer medium so to set an example suppose a ray of light is traveling from air to glass what is happening is that the wavelength of the light reduces as it enters the glass and that reduction in wavelength is reflected as a reduction in the velocity of the light okay and this change in wavelength it results in a change in direction the change in speed or the wavelength ultimately results in the change in direction on moving from a rarer to a denser medium and the other way around fine so now we have seen the relation between these terminologies let us now see what the refractive index itself depends on factors affecting refractive index affecting the refractive index okay now the first factor as is as will be quite evident is the material the refractive index is a material property air has a different refractive index water has a different refractive index glass has a different refractive index so depending on which material are we talking about it will have a specific refractive index so material is the foremost factor defining determining the refractive index the second factor which we have not discussed till now is physical conditions like temperature physical condition like temperature what happens when temperature increases the velocity of the ray of light increases in that medium now increased velocity is a consequence of increased wavelength and increased wavelength is a consequence of reduced refractive index so ultimately what this means is reduction in the refractive index so uh, increased temperature means the medium has a uh, less refractive index than it would have if the temperature were lower so temperature is a condition which affects the refractive index finally the wavelength or the color of the light let's call it the wavelength this itself determines the refractive index so we cannot just say that the refractive index of glass is let's say 1.5 we have to say that the refractive index of glass for a red light is let's say 1.502 i don't know that may be a different value but for the sake of argument for red it is 1.502 and for violet it may be 
5.04. Okay, so how does the wavelength uh, determine it? We know that the wavelength, higher the wavelength, as we have seen here, the velocity is higher. And higher the velocity means lower refractive index. So the ray of light which has a higher wavelength will have a higher refractive index for that particular material. Now which in the visual P I B G Y O R that is the visible range. Violet has the least wavelength and red has the highest wavelength. So we know that lambda r is more than lambda v. Using this relation what we can say this implies that the refractive index for v is greater than refractive index for r. So we see how the wavelength is also important in deciding the refractive index of a scenario. To sum it up, refractive index is a material property, is a physical condition property and also a property of the wavelength of light which we are considering.